All right, I promise this is probably gonna be the last time we do this, but I've got another one of these videos where I bought a bunch of old Vanguard packs, but this one's gonna be super special because it's actually the very first ever Vanguard pack that was ever released. Booster pack one. So I kind of wish I had a sort of more appropriate mat for this situation, but uh, I don't think I've used this one yet. I might have used it, I don't really remember. But we're just going to go ahead and show off this one for now and crack open some packs of these. So we've got ourselves 20 packs of the Descent of the King of, or the Descent of the King of Knights. I thought it was the Descent of the King's Knights, but never mind. Uh, this is the very first Card Fight Vanguard pack that was ever released. Ever. <laughs> it's actually released. Uh, so what I'm looking here in Japan, it was released March 12th, 2011. And for us internationally, it was released in English at least, uh, December 10th, 2021. So uh, now this isn't really the same as like maybe something like a Yu-Gi-Oh where if you open one of the old packs, you'll get like something crazy like a pot of greed, which is, you know, still super good and playable to this day, even though it's, you know, banned. Or something like a uh, blue eyes white dragon, which is worth like a gajillion dollars, right? Uh, or something like Pokemon, where the first set stuff is like, you know, really expensive and whatnot, because the thing with those packs really is that they were around when a lot, a lot of us were a lot younger, and we didn't really understand the value of those cards, which is why they actually have sort of value now, because most of those cards were just sort of thrown away by us just fucking wiping our asses with it and throwing it around in the school ground and, and all that kind of stuff. Whereas by the time Vanguard came out, we sort of realized that there's actually some stock in, um, you know, holding on to trading cards. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh had already been out for like 10 years at that point. Uh, so I don't think there's really anything amazing here. That on top of the fact that the game has changed so much drastically that I don't think I'm going to be able to pull an Alfred here and just go into <laughs> go into Springfest with my Super Turbo Alfred deck. But in any case, enough talking. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Uh, I believe it's 80 cards per set. And then there are actually 5 cards per pack. Uh, so right off, we've got ourselves the Screaming and Dancing Announcer Shout. Very nice, for Nova Grappler, you can rest this and discard one, and then draw one. Then And we, wow, no Darker Regulars were in the first set. We got Nightmare Baby here, I think this boosts yeah, Blue Dust, which is a grade 2. You can get 4k to the end of that battle. We got Dragon Dancer Monica, this is um somewhat iconic. Just because it was in a lot of the episodes of the early, uh, of the early episodes of the anime, uh, this was used a lot in the first couple of episodes. Um, then we got ourselves a heal trigger for uh, Kagro, Dragon Monk Genjo. You don't actually see this a lot, I don't think, in the anime. And then the last card here is actually going to be Butold Jack. I think that's the last card. Yeah, I think I actually already have a couple of copies of this because I. I was a pretty big fan of this card, I like sort of how it looks and whatnot, and I had a lot of fun with it in um, Vanguard Zero. But uh, it's effectively a little bit different here. Um, so it has Restraint where it cannot attack, and you need to counter blast one to lose Restraint only until the end of the turn, which is kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, but other than that, it's kind of the same. If you boost it with a Nova Grappler unit and it's on Vanguard Circle, you can give this 5k. And ourselves the Guiding Zombie, which is a starter for uh, Grand Blue here. You can, uh, so this is a Forerunner. Uh, if you play uh, Grand Blue unit over it, then uh, you can put this unit into the soul, put three cards from the top of your deck into your drop zone. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> All right, we got the comical looking Winglel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you boost Blaster Blade, you get an additional 4k. Hilarious. Got ourselves. Wow, we actually got the Dreadmaster. I hate this card in Vanguard Zero. Let's see if it does the same thing. So, when an attack hits, during the battle, this unit boosted a Nubatama unit. If the number of cards in your hand is less than your opponent's, you can boss one. And if you do, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and discards it. Yeah, so it's actually way better in. Zero while you have to counter blast two. Uh, I think it either binds 
I think it binds uh, one or two cards from your opponent's hand, and then you have that annoying starter that then puts him in the drop. And we got ourselves the heal for uh, Nova Grappler here in the Ring Girl Clara. Not bad. Oh, wow, we actually got ourselves, I believe, the last card from this pack a triple rare. <laughs> All right. And the embodiment of victory, Elf. Wow. So you can counter blast fucking four <laughs> to get 3k and one critical into the end of the turn. Then you can choose a card named uh, Dragon Knight Elf, uh, a card named the Embodiment of Armor Bar, so the grade two, the grade one, and then the Embodiment of Spear Tar, which I think is a critical turn, uh, from your soul, put them into the drop zone, and then you just counter charge all of your face down damage cards, which is uh, super interesting. Um, very wild that you can counter blast four cards just to get an additional critical. This is what they thought was super strong in the first set. Wow. Next up, we've got uh, Wyvern, Wyvern Strike Jarin. Uh, when it boosts a Wyvern Strike Tejas, you can get 4k. Sure thing. Uh, then we got Red Shoe Millie. I've never seen this card in my entire life. Um, when this unit is put into the drop zone from guarding, put it into the soul. Wow, that is uh, pretty good. Uh, but it is a grade zero, so you'd have to use that as a starter and then put it in your hand or something like that. Uh, we got another Monica here, and then we got the Drotter, the Miracle Kid for Oracle Think Tank. And then finally, whoa, very shiny. Yeah, this is our double rare here. This looks better than the triple rare, but we got ourselves a Juggernaut Maximum. Or Spike Brothers here. Um, so if you don't have a another Spike Bros Vanguard, if you don't have a Spike Bros Vanguard or a Rear Guard, uh, this guy gets minus two power. And uh, on Vanguard Circle, you can no on Rear Guard Circle, you can so blast one when he attacks, and then he gets five can at the end of the uh, wait at the beginning of the close step of that battle. <laughs> Return this unit to your deck. And just shuffle your deck. Uh, that's a very stupid way to say at the end of that battle, but all right, sure. Got ourselves a vanilla starter here for Mega Colony in Madame Mirage. All right. Uh, then we got ourselves Covenant Knight Randolph. Uh, if you have more cards in your hand than your opponent, when this guy attacks, you can get 3k to the end of that battle. Hey, we got the classic Dragon Monk Gojo here. You can rest it, discard a card, and then draw one. Not bad. I uh, got ourselves another Miracle Kid. And then I think our rare here is actually going to be the Hell Spider for Mega Colony here. Uh, during your turn, if all of your opponent's vanguards or your opponent's vanguard and rear guards are rested, this guy gets 3k. Then, uh, when this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, you counter blast two, choose one Rearguard, and the chosen unit cannot stand your opponent's next stand phase. What a mediocre <laughs> effect. Actually, got ourselves another Madame Mirage here, another Wingle. Uh, we got ourselves Nubatama here, and the self beast uh, Shigasumi. As you in text, if you have more cards than your opponent, he gets in your hand. He has an additional 3,000 attack power. I'm trying to find the right angle for my camera here, I think because of all the lights. We actually got the, oh, we got the Flogal. Not bad. And then finally, we got ourselves a rare in Mr. Invincible. Uh, for Nova Grappler, at the beginning of your main phase, you so charge one. And you counter charge one. Then you can uh, mega plat, mega plat. When you can mega blast when uh, this unit's attack hits, which you would have to pay soul blast six, counter blast five, and stand all your units. Very, very interesting. I'll be honest with you, I don't know how it would have felt uh, if I had actually bought these packs at launch, just because uh, I don't know. <laughs> If any of these cards would have really uh, called out to me as much, so maybe it's a good idea that I waited for Zero to sort of ex experience this, because it wasn't until like a good while <laughs> through Vanguard Zero that I actually started to like really like Vanguard and like the art and cards and whatnot. Uh, but we got Oracle Garden Gemini here. And I the Wonder Boy for Spike Bros. 
I got ourselves a Shining Lady, critical trigger for Nova Grappler. And finally, the legendary Dragon Knight. Not actually part of his name, but Nahalam. Very cool for Kagura. Very nice to own such a somewhat iconic card. <laughs> it's just a vanilla uh, grade 2, but it's pretty iconic to me at least. Got ourselves a starter for Nubatama here. Um, when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, if you have a Nubatama Vanguard, and the number of cards in your hand is less than your opponent's, you counterblast one, and if you do, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and discard it. Wow, so you guard with this, and then your opponent has to discard a card. Jesus, Wonder Boy. Then we got ourselves good old Hungry Dumpty, uh, which is just on place you counter charge if you have a Nova Grappler. Got ourselves heal. Uh, the heal, Wing Girl, Clara for your Nova Grapplers, and then finally our rare here is going to be the Tyrant Defrex for Tachikaze. Uh, when this unit attacks, um, this unit gets 5k to the end of the turn, and then when it attacks, also you have to retire one of your own rear guards. Alright, so there's another Wonder Boy, Guiding Zombie, got ourselves. Rock the Wall. I thought this was a Nova Grappler card, but um, when placed into the drop from the Guardian Circle, put this into the soul. I think Kamui actually used this in his deck um, when he was using Mr. Invincible to get the Mega Blast, uh, but I didn't know it was actually Dark Regulars. We got another Shiny Lady, and finally a very shiny uh, Future Knight Lu here. Uh, so you can choose a Unit named Future Knight Lou and a Barkle and a Flogel from your Rearguard Circle and put them into your soul. Um, if you're on your Grade 1 Vanguard, uh, in addition to Counter Blasting 1, um, then you can search for Blaster Blade from your deck and write it and shuffle your deck. Very interesting. Really like the foil on this, looks really pretty. I don't know why they did this for. I guess that is a double rare. Uh, but I don't know why the double rare formula looks so much better than the triple rare. So far, I think the only triple rare we got was the um, elf. be honest with you guys, the only thing I'm really looking forward to is maybe a Blaster Blade, an Alfred, or an Ashura Kaiser. I'd call that a win if I can get any of those three. Uh, but we've got ourselves Dandy Guy Romario here for uh, Grand Blue, another Shelt, another Gojo, and wow, we got ourselves the Wyvern Guard Body for uh, Kagro. This is the PG. So you choose a Kagro from your hand and discard it. So you specifically discard Kagro cards. Jesus. They're very silly. <laughs> the rules in the beginning is like, oh yeah, you can play any cards in any deck, but uh, all of our effects <laughs> are only for specific clans. I don't know why they didn't, why they even bothered with that rule. But in any case, uh, when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, you may pay the cost, and if you do, your Kagoro, uh, I guess, unit cannot be hit until the end of that battle. Cool. Got Jagamon Gojo, Randolph, Blue Dust. Got the Oracle Guardian Nike here, which is a critical trigger for Oracle Think Tank. And finally, oh, we did it! Haha! <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves the Ashura Kaiser from Norma Grappler. Wow. Very nice. I love the scratches it has for the, the like, hollow in the back. It looks very nice. Uh, so if you don't have a Nova Grappler Vanguard or Rearguard, uh, you get minus 2k. And when you drive check and reveal a grade 40 Nova Grappler, you can choose one of your Rearguards and stand it. So obviously, Way better in Vanguard Zero, because if uh, you check a Grade 3, it's more than likely going to be a trigger, right? So you're actually going to be able to give power and stand, which is really cool. It's a shame this deck didn't, like, kick off a lot in the beginning of Vanguard Zero, but oh well. Actually got ourselves the Blue Dust here. Uh, when you an attack hits, if you have a Dark Irregulars Vanguard, you so charge one. And shout. Oh, we actually got the Embodiment of Armor. Are one of the I want to say very first cards ever played in the anime, so that's kind of cool to see. I just love the Miracle Kid, and finally the Vortex Dragon. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, you can Soul Charge one, and this unit gets 2,000 power to the end of the turn. Then uh, you can Mega Blast, Soul Blast six 
Counter Blast 5, choose up to three of your opponent's rear guards and retire them. Wow. <laughs> Meanwhile, nowadays you can just pop a couple meteors and retire your opponent's whole field. Back in the day, you had to Soul Blast 6 and Counter Blast 5. <laughs> oh man. Uh, what a long way we've come. We got ourselves another one, boy. We got ourselves actually the little Sage Marin. Not bad, not bad. I uh, got ourselves another Dreadmaster Flogel, and then nice. We got an accompanying piece to our uh, Nahalem, the Knight of Silence Galatin. Just because you know, they're the great twos you see a lot in the early parts of the anime, so that's really cool to get that. Another Nightmare Baby. Another bar. Oh, we actually got ourselves the high speed Baraki here for uh, Spike Bros. When his unit attacks, you can counter blast one. This unit gets five counts in the battle. And at the beginning of the close step of that battle, return this unit to your deck and shuffle your deck. So you actually don't even need to use this in a Spike Bros deck, which is kind of cool. I uh, got another Oracle uh, Garden Knight. And then our rare here is going to be the King of Sword. So we got the other Senke Vanilla. So now we just need the other Oracle one. <laughs> and we've got the. Uh, Main Vanillas for the main team. Alright, we got ourselves Tough Boy here from Norm Grandpa. We got ourselves a card I've never seen before in my life. This is Weapon Dealer uh, Governon. Alright, it's a draw trigger for a Paladin. We got the Rock, the Wall. We got the Lucky Girl, which is a stand for Nova Grappler. That's nice to have. And finally, we got ourselves a triple, or sorry, double rare. In the Battle Sister Mo Mo Mocha, <laughs> Mocha. Uh, so if you just have more cards than your opponent, uh, no, if you have four more cards in your hand, so it doesn't matter how much your opponent has, this card gets 3k. Not bad. Alright, still hoping to see if we can get ourselves a first edition. <laughs> Blaster Blade here, because that'd be really cool, because I don't think I own any copies of Blaster Blade, so it'd be nice if my first one is the original. Uh, Clay Doll Mechanic here for Nova Grappler. When this unit is placed on Worker Circle, if you have a Nova Grappler Vanguard, choose the card from your damage and turn it face up. Got the Ring Girl, and then we got ourselves, wow, we got ourselves Lizard Soldier Conro here. Very cool. Uh, so, to Forerunner, if you write a Conro card over it, then you can Counter Blast one and retire this unit. Search your deck for up to one grade, one or less Conro unit, reveal it to your opponent, and then add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. Alright, another bottom of armor bar, blue dust, play doll. Oh, we actually got the Yagurasil made in Elaine. We see this a lot, I believe, in the anime as well. IJ is always pulling those heal triggers as well as uh, guarding with her, so that's kind of cool. And then another Death Rex. Yeah, we got ourselves another Gemini here, another Shigasumo, another Rock the Wall. I believe that's like four of that. Uh, we got ourselves Miracle Kid, and finally, our rare here is going to be the Assault Dragon Blight Tops for Tachikaze. Um, when this unit is put into the drop zone from Rearguard Circle, you can counter blast one. And if you do, search your deck for up to one card named Iron Clad Shield On. I think that's a grade three. Reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Sure. We got ourselves. The last pack here, regretfully, it is the very last pack. Let's see if we can uh, get something interesting here. We got another one of this weird dude. Uh, we got another Madame Mirage. Another Shout. A Litter Soldier Ganju, which is a stand trigger for Kagura. And our very last card is going to be none other than <laughs> Triganic Overlord. Um, not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, very cool nonetheless. Um, so if you do not have another Kagura Vanguard or Rear Guard, you get minus 2k. Uh, you can Counter Blast 3 at the end of the turn. This unit gets a plus 5 and gets the following ability. Auto on Vanguard or Rear Guard Circle when this unit attacks or when its attack hits an opponent's Rear Guard. Stand this unit and you lose Twin Drive. Very cool. Wow, I didn't actually think we'd pull <laughs> the Dragonic Overlord. I kind of completely forgot it was even in this set. Uh, this almost feels like an alternate arc, because I thought 
it would use like the more classic art that we're used to seeing, so I'm gonna have to take a look at that, but all right, not bad, not bad. All right, so I mean, we didn't do too poorly, I guess. We got two elves, Maxima, Elude, Bari. We did get the Ashura Kaiser, which is uh, one of the things I really wanted. And uh, we also got the Draganic Overlord, which is, you know, pretty cool. Um, I don't think I own any of these cards. I might have an Ashura Kaiser, so that's kind of cool. And I don't think I have any copies of Overlord. Uh, so that is very cool. Um, I do wish I did manage to get the Alfred or the uh, Blaster Blade, but again, not bad. Um, I think this will probably be it for the um, sort of old pack openings that I've been doing on the channel. Uh, if I do a pack opening again in the future, it'll probably be some of the newer stuff uh, regretfully, unless there is something that you guys would like me to open here. Uh, I think I've sort of gone through whatever it is that I can find. There's not really much else that I can open at the time being. Um, but in any case, let me know what you thought about this video. And until next time, take care of yourself.